Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining our Tuesday prayers. God bless you as you have joined. Kindly invite your friends. Let's, um, let's pray together. Father, Lord, we just thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. We give you glory. We give you praise. This is the day that you have made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for mercy. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the be exalted, be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the sing to the Father, 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 Father. Sing to the Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. Spirit, lift up the Father, Father, Father. Father, Father. Father, Father, we bless your holy name tonight. We worship you, we exalt you. Be thou glorified even as we go into our prayers. Lord, tabernacle with us. Hear our prayers, guide us, lead us, O God, and let your name alone be glorified. We thank you for all the testimonies that are coming, and we thank you, Father Lord, even for your presence with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining our Tuesday prayers. God bless you. We're going to be praying from 1 Samuel 25, 14. And it says, Now one of the young men told Abigail, Nabal's wife, saying, Look, David sent messengers from the wilderness to greet our master, and he reviled them. And so here, Nabal's servant, you know, was telling Abigail that um, David had sent some men to ask her husband Nabal for food since they had been protecting them for a long time. But that Nabal sent, sent insults to David and that David was upset. And so this servant was telling, was giving Abigail this information to caution her, to let her know that um, anything can happen because of the way your husband reacted. And so, you know, out of all the servants, there was only one person that told Abigail what was going on. Only one person spoke to Abigail. We're going to use that in prayer tonight. That every information that you need, that is crucial to your destiny, the Lord will allow that information to come on time in the name of Jesus. The Lord will allow that information to come to you. Everything you need to know, part time, 
per season about your life, about your destiny, about your family, about your children. That information, whoever has that information, the Almighty God will lead them to you in the name of Jesus. Begin to use that to pray. Father, every information that, Lord, I need in this month of April, Father, that we need in this year 2024, that is crucial to our destiny. Father, if this information did not come, Abigail and her whole household will have been killed because David was already coming in anger to destroy her house. But one person was kind enough. Father, Lord, we pray that, Lord God Almighty, even as you sent Jonathan to David, even as you sent a boy to Apostle Paul, to let Apostle Paul know that, you know, that somebody was, that somebody, that some people wanted to kill him. And because of that, Paul was able to escape. Father, Lord, send to us, oh God, people that will give us warning, people that will alert us, people that will enable us to know what we need to know per time. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray that God will send you someone kind. God will send you someone kind in 2024. Someone that is that is after your business somebody that has a good mind towards you somebody that would allow you to be delivered from preempted evil in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth father we ask tonight oh god that the information we need father lord the helper that we need that lord you will send to our lives to the lives of our children to our family at the right time in the mighty name of jesus you know if you remember the story of nathan nathan was the one that told um that told Bathsheba that um, they were about to make um, Adonijah king, Absalom king. He was the one that revealed that secret to, uh, to, to Bathsheba because the seat was meant for Solomon. But then somebody else was already anointed himself king at the backyard. And so Nathan told Bathsheba, go and speak to the king on behalf of your husband. And when you speak to the king, remind the king that he said, um, Solomon will be king because David was the king there. That remind him that he said his son Solomon will be king, and because of this, but Sheba was able to 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 harness that throne for her son. And so you're going to pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, somebody will remember you this season that needs to tell you something you need to know. In the mighty name of Jesus, your life will not be offensive to your helper. Your life will not be offensive to the person that God has sent to you. If if um. If, what was this guy's name? If Naaman's wife was offensive to the maid, the maid will not have told Naaman's wife that Elisha could heal Naaman. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, your life will not be offensive to your helper. Somebody will remember your children this season. Somebody will remember you this season so that you can hear what you need to hear, so that you can receive the help that you need to help that you need to receive. Maybe it's from your work, maybe it's from your business, maybe it's from your ministry, maybe it's from your marriage, maybe it's in your family. That thing you need to know will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are still praying from first Samuel. Um, we're going to um, 1 Samuel 25, verse 33. And it says, this is David speaking. And it says that, and blessed is your advice. And blessed are you because you have kept me this day from coming to, from coming to bloodshed and from avenging with my own hand. And so here, David was praising Abigail that thank you for coming to speak to me. Because David was already on his way to kill everybody. But Abigail, you know, ran, left the house and took food and took gifts to um, placet um, David. I mean, yes, and also to, to help him relent from whatever it is that had been, whatever it is that was coming towards him. And so, you know, Abigail got up and did this. And David was praising Abigail that thank you that you did not let me avenge myself. Thank you that you did not let me have blood on my life. And so we're going to use that to pray. We are going to pray that because Abigail, what Abigail said to David was able to calm David down. The way Abigail was able to um, intercept what was going on helped her family. And so we are going to pray today that Lord grants me the wisdom that I need daily to say and do the right thing always in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, the wisdom that I need, that wisdom that you need to be able to say the right thing, to be able to do the right thing. You will not misspeak. You will not misjudge. You will not fall in error. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry about that. Um, praise the Lord. I hope you can hear me. Please send a chat. That thing that you need to do, 
that you need to speak right, that you need to do right, that the Almighty God will enable you in the name of Jesus. You will not say what will put you in trouble this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty will give you godly counsel, godly insight to be able to speak aright in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, if you remember the story in the Bible, there was this man when King Saul died, this man ran from the battlefield to meet David, to tell David that, you know, Saul was dead. And David was not happy about that news because he always looked at Saul as the Lord's anointed, even though Saul was after him. He always looked at Saul as the Lord's anointed. So, you know, David was upset that why would you tell me that Saul is dead? And then he had the audacity to tell Saul that, you know, David had already fallen on, um, sorry, Saul, King Saul had already fallen on his sword, but he, he was not dead yet. So King Saul saw him passing by and told him that he should kill him himself so that he wouldn't be in pain. And so he killed Saul. And he went to tell David. And David said, well, your mouth has put you in trouble. Because you did this, you are going to die. And David immediately called a man to kill him. And of course, he wasted his life because he was a man that was not, he didn't know how to control himself. He was saying what nobody asked him to say. He revealed what he shouldn't reveal. He was being foolish. So you are going to pray that, Father, this year, give me wisdom. I will, not explode, I, will not, I will not expose myself. I will not expose my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will not do things that will jeopardize my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, keep me in check this year. Keep my children in check. Keep my husband in check. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not fall in error in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you remember the story of Shimei, there was a man called Shimei of, from Gera. And when David was running away from Absalom because Absalom was, you know, trying to overtopple his throne. And he was running away, you know, because his son was, his son had already said he was king and everything. There was this man called Shimei that he just came from nowhere and began to curse David. And he rained curses on David. And, you know, after David got back to the throne, he told his um, army commandant, he said, don't forget to deal with Shimei because of what he did. At the end of the day, Shimei died. And why did he die? Because he was cursing David and he didn't know that it will have um, ramifications. And so that is why we're going to pray that this year God will deliver our children. You know, sometimes they think they know everything. They are so smart. They will not go and say what will keep, put them in trouble. They will not go and cross boundaries. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy Spirit will give us counsel that will keep us in check. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not do things that will retrogress us. Sometimes you will make a mistake. It will take you 10 years back. It will take you five years back because you shouldn't have said what you said. Father, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. You will give us, Father, godly counsel and insight. Father, so that we will not make a mistake. That, Father, Lord, God Almighty cannot be corrected in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are still praying. You know, at the end of the day, after Abigail had this thing, she ran to meet David. She carried food. She did everything. And, you know, at the end of the day, she delivered, she saved her family. And so God gave her strategy. You're going to ask that God will give you strategy this year. The right strategy to tackle every issue. What are you supposed to do? Abigail did not wait at home and say, ah, I will wait. When David comes, I will beg him. She went to meet him halfway before he, he got to their house. You know, you have to pray that God will give you the strategy. How are you going to approach somebody on a matter? What, how should you carry out this project? What should you do? How should you talk to this child? How should you approach your husband? Every strategy that you need at work, in business, in ministry, in your spiritual life, that will, that will help you, that will not be a negative. The Bible says that don't let your good be thought of as evil. Sometimes you don't plan evil, but people will, you know, misunderstand what you're trying to communicate. And then at the end of the day, you make a blunder. Begin to pray, Lord, I will not make a blunder this year. Give me divine strategy by time, per season. In the name of Jesus, everywhere I need to do it. Father, come and teach me. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and go ahead of me and show me the way, the way around issues, just like you showed Esther. Esther did not speak to him on the first day. Her, her, Esther spoke to ne him on the next day because God gave us strategy. God will give you strategy. God will give you unction. All, the Holy Spirit will give you direction. He will give you instruction. You will follow his path in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes when you have an argument with your husband, the Holy Spirit has to teach you the strategy of how to go around it or else it will just become a big thing. And so it is so important that we listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying so that we will not make uh, 
uh, we will not make a mountain of something that shouldn't be in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying from Daniel 3, 23. And it says that, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, fell down bound into the midst of the furnace. And verse 26 says, Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fairy furnace and spoke, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abnego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. And they came forth out of the midst of the fire. I want to announce to somebody tonight that you are coming out of the midst of every fire in the name of Jesus. I don't know what fire has been set for you. I don't know what trap has been set for you. But every fairy furnace experience that you might be going through in the name of Jesus, you are coming out in Jesus' name. I declare over your life that the battle of life will not drown you. You are coming out of that fire. The same way this voice came out. Because we serve the living God. A God that is not dead. A God that is alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray today that oh Lord. fire of life will not burn me in the name of Jesus. Marital fires will not burn you. Destiny fires will not burn you. Children, you know, fires from children will not burn you. Academic fires, business fires, career fire, you know, ministerial fire, spiritual fire, whatever fire, <laughs> they are igniting in any altar. In this year, 2024, you will not be burned. In the name of Jesus, health fires will not burn you. Wherever that fire is coming from, the Bible says that the three Hebrew boys, they came out of that fire on hurt. And the God of Israel delivered them. They came out on hurt. They came out on hurt. Because of that, you are coming out. It doesn't matter how hot the fire is. It doesn't matter how scattered the fire is. I declare by your life, you are coming out. In the name of Jesus. The Bible when Moses saw the burning bush, that the bush was burning, but the bush was not consumed. The bush was burning, but the bush was not consumed. Because God was in the midst of that bush. God was in the midst of that bush. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no matter how much it burns, you will not be consumed. You will not be consumed. The presence of God will be with you. The Almighty God will keep you. He will deliver you. He will preserve you. And you are coming out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Nebuchadnezzar saw the fourth man. Man. He saw the fourth man in the fire. He said, who is this person? There were three people, but all of a sudden he saw four people. In the mighty name of Jesus this year, God will be with you in every battle. You will not be overpowered. You will not be drowned. In the name of Jesus, he will be the fourth man in that situation, in that challenge. Whatever it is you are facing, God is with you. He says, do not be afraid. Be still and know that I am in the midst of you. Be still and know that God is with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Verse 27, the B part. He says, and they saw this man on whose the fire had no power. When this voice came out, the Bible says that they saw them on whose the fire has no power. And so it doesn't matter the agenda of the enemy. It doesn't matter the effect. The, in the mighty name of Jesus, that whatever it is you are going through, it will not be terrible on you. It will not be terrible on you because when they came out, the Bible says the fire did not have power over them. That means there will be no effects on you. Nobody will even know you went through any fire. Because when you come out, your story will be like Naaman. The Bible says when Naaman dipped himself seven times in that river, he came out as a newborn baby. Nobody knew Naaman ever had leprosy. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will escape. You will come out of every fire. Nobody will be able to tell that you went through any experience. In the mighty name of Jesus. Still on that verse 27, the Bible says that their hair, the hair on their head was not singed. That means that their hair did not burn. Their hair did not crinkle. Their hair was straight. Somebody coming out of fire. Nothing had touched their hair. And your hair represents your glory. You are going to pray today that Lord in the name of Jesus, in year 2024, my glory will not be buried. My glory will not be covered. My glory will not go down. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God will preserve your glory. God will preserve your glory. God will preserve your heritage. God will preserve your lineage. God will preserve your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what is done, you are going to come out unsinged in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that still on that verse 27, he says, no, where their garments are affected. Your garments represent your covering. 
everything God has put upon you, regali, bogo, sontoria, that is meant to cover you. Ah, the Bible says that their garment was not affected. Your covering in the name of Jesus Christ will not suddenly tear to pieces. In the name of Jesus, the covering that God has given you, everything God has put upon your life as a blessing. In the name of Jesus, it will not be removed. It will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your garment represents your children. The world will not take them away from you. Your garment represents your husband. The Lord will not take them and take him away from you. Your garment represents your blessings, your dignity, your esteem, your glory. The world will not take it away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Still on that verse 27. And the Bible says that, and the smell of fire was not on them. So they went through the fire. But the smell of fire was not on them. The smell of fire was not on them. That means that God wiped away every scar. Every scar in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, whatever it is that you are going through in life, the Almighty God, that that that, will, that the God of new beginnings, will give you a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Your history will not define you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nobody will be able to tell what you have gone through in life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will do a new thing in your life. Oh Lord, my God, the Bible says the smell of fire was not on them in the name of Jesus. God will give you a brand new beginning in every area of your life. The glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be for you. So shall it be for your family. In the name of Jesus. And then the Bible says at the end of the day, it says that after all these things, the three Hebrew boys were promoted. Verse 30 says, then the king promoted Shadrach. I want you to know that no matter what you are going through, no matter how bad that season is, no matter how crooked it is, no matter how tough it is, in the name of Jesus Christ, everything will work for your good in the name of Jesus. Everything the enemy meant for bad, it will work for your good. These boys we are promoted. I want to pray for you today that Lord divinely turn around everything that was meant to frustrate you. May the Lord turn it around to become a thing of celebration in your life in the name of Jesus. Everything that was meant to put you down. Everything that was meant to discomfort you. Everything that was meant to put sorrow in your life. May the Lord turn it around to be a thing of celebration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you tonight by the instrumentality of mercy. I rouse back every blessing that you have lost back into your life in the name of Jesus. Back into your life. I rouse back your blessings. I rouse back your goodness. I rouse back your promotion. I rouse back your lifting in the name of Jesus. I rouse back your sound health in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have lost by the instrumentality of mercy, may the mercy of God speak for you against every judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord restore you. May the Lord replenish you in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God. Father, we thank you tonight. We give you glory because you are a prayer answering God. We thank you because you are a good God. We thank you, Father, because it is done. We thank you because it is well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Be thou exalted Oh Lord, be thou glorified. We seal our prayers in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining our prayers tonight. God bless you. I just wanted to remind you that we have our fellowship on the 27th of April, next Saturday. We are going to be meeting at the Hilton on Highway 90 and um on our way 90 and 99 at the Hilton and the topic is discernment and um, God has laid this on my heart just to um, we're going to be praying on the spirit of discernment and discussing the spirit of discernment and I don't want you to miss it you're going to be blessed because God wants us to be women that are discerning so that we will not be caught in the web of life in the mighty name of Jesus so save the date make it a date next week Saturday we are going to be meeting from 10 to 12 Amen. Also, our Canada program is on the 4th of May. We are going to Calgary, Canada, and it's going to be an awesome time. We're going to be talking on um, a praying woman, a praying woman. Uh, everything God wants us to know, the characteristics of a praying woman. And I pray that even as we come together in Canada, God will glorify himself and every woman will be, will be, will be, will be brought to the place of prayer because God is, that is God's heart's desire that men always ought to pray and not faint. And that will be our testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining. Let's share the grace. 
kindly like our video so other people can see it as well. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely God's goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Um, I forgot a prayer point. We're going to be praying for one of our mothers that is strong at this time. Father, Lord God, we just want to pray for one of our mothers that is going through, that is that is strong at this time. You are the healer, oh God. We pray for healing from the crown of our head to the sole of her feet in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I declare healing upon her life that in the name of Jesus Christ, every everything in her body. Father, Lord, God Almighty, that is not working properly, begins to function. Father, Lord, the way you created it to function in the name of Jesus, the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. Everybody going through one sickness or the other, I pray today that in the name of Jesus, may the healing power of God rest upon you. I declare you are healed in the name of Jesus. Receive strength, receive the healing power of God. Jehovah Rapha is here for you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says he was bruised for your iniquities. He was chastised. The chastisement of your peace was put upon him. And by the stripes of Jesus, you are made whole in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for our healing because it's perfect in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining and have a blessed night.